Ink? Yeah. Run, FedEx man, run! Uh, I swear, if you try to run off, I will put you in timeout. That's all I can do. Check this out. I've been waiting for this. What, Mom? <laughs> Part for the Jeep? Yeah. No? And I just realized uh, I don't like this shirt. Yo, all right, what is up guys? I ordered a backpack. That backpack I was talking about a few videos ago, I ordered it. So I'm excited, I'm waiting. FedEx guy, he's on a rush, you know, he drove onto the street, ran over here, dropped off the box, and boom, we got this. Now inside of this box, this is, I did a lot of research because I, I showed you my backpack from another video. Okay, so getting this out of the way. This backpack, I love the way it looks, as I mentioned before, it is so uncomfortable. And if I'm gonna be on this trip, I love hiking and just, you know, nature and stuff. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of hiking and stuff, or that's the plan at least. I'm probably gonna be doing a lot of walking, a lot of hiking, and I needed a backpack that's gonna work for that. Something that I can carry like all my camera gear in it's not gonna break my bank and it's gonna be comfortable easy to travel with and so i did a lot of research to try to find you know the best bang for buck kind of thing the backpack looked phenomenal and they just changed the logo so a lot of their stuff was on sale so i actually got this like a hundred dollars off just because the logo is a little different now and i'm like i'm not gonna complain about that the only con to that is that all sales are final so I made sure this was exactly what I wanted and there's a lot of very positive reviews on it. From what I can see, this is exactly what I need. So I am really excited about this. We're gonna open this up. It says not to use a knife to open it. I'm gonna use one anyway. I'll be okay. Oh my gosh. That backpack just screams adventure. Wonder. I love that logo. Let me just open this up Superman style. This is just a bag they put it in to help keep it safe while traveling. That's awesome. Look at that. So they actually have two sizes in this. There's the 21 liter and the 31 liter. I was thinking for convenience I might get the 21 liter, but I started thinking about it and my backpack over here, the other one I have, is actually a little too small for me, I think. And then also with all the gear I, I have now, plus any gear I might potentially get, I want to make sure I have enough room for it. I also will probably use this, you know, to carry extra stuff, like if I'm going on a hike and, you know, water bottles or any, any other supplies, you know, maybe a first aid kit. I would like to have room for that extra stuff. Please ignore the junk back there. Okay, so on this bag, for security reasons and other stuff, you have to actually open it from behind. That way it's resting up against your back and you know, no one can sneak up behind you and take your stuff. All right, one of my biggest concerns is right here. This is where the laptop goes. I don't know if my laptop is gonna fit, uh, but usually my laptops don't because most of the time when it says 15 inch, it's like a, a MacBook and I don't have a MacBook. I wanted a MacBook, but I can't afford it. Maybe one day, uh, I'm gonna see if my laptop fits. Please fit. 15 inch, oh my word, it fits like a glove Woo! that was one of my biggest things about my other backpack like i could barely fit it but i always felt like i was gonna damage the either the backpack or my actual computer but check that out it fits and i cannot be more excited that is awesome getting back into the bag itself holy cow this makes my bag feel like it came from china because it did all right i figured it out all right, so if you take it out like this, I can carry all my camera gear in this little bag, like that, and I think it has straps. Well, it has holes for straps, and I think it has a strap somewhere. So I can use this as a carryover bag, and I can carry like all my camera gear just in this, and then just pop it right in there. So that's really cool. And then I can use the backpack as, you know, just you know a regular backpack. All right, moving on to the front of it. All right, oh, here we go. Okay, so these are actually side straps, in 
these are gonna be awesome. So here I have a compartment in case I need to store anything extra right there. You know, I can toss stuff in there, extra gear, whatever. And then that's not all though. Look at this. Like, I could literally pack like everything I need for a week trip. Plus my camera, but like literally everything, I could pack everything I need for a whole week's trip in this bag. Under here, you unzip this, it's got this pocket, and then boom, rain tarp. That way in case I ever get caught in a storm, it's already, uh, this material is actually already weather resistant. This is already like waterproof and stuff. And I've seen a lot of like one, like one year updates and stuff where people have been traveling with this and it's got scratch and stuff, but they say it holds up fantastic. So that's actually really good since, you know, I'm going to be abusing it and stuff. And that, that was my biggest concern. You know, I'm going to be living in a Jeep and I don't want to, my stuff to get ruined. And I also don't want to have a bag that's just going to fall apart. But the mail lady just got here. So, and I just went and checked it and none of it's for me. It's all my sister's stuff and, you know, bills. This is weird because I ordered an O2 sensor for the Jeep and it's supposed to be here already. So we're still waiting on that. This backpack looks amazing, by the way. But uh, I'm not gonna keep boring you with this because, I mean, I'm gonna play with it and I'm gonna have fun with it and I'm gonna see how stuff fits in it. But that's gonna take some time and I don't feel like doing that right now. What you guys probably wanna see is the Jeep. Okay, well, actually, let's go look at it in like 20 minutes because I'm gonna play with this and then, and then we'll go look at it. Here she is, my Jeep. She's all coming together, looking great actually. She's so close. My only problem is, is I got the hardtop on, as you can see, and I got the doors on, but the doors still need a little work and the hardtop still needs aligned. Uh, I bolted it on and everything. The, oh wow, the door is very off. So I still need to take the driver's side door apart and work on that because I really, I, I hate climbing through the passenger side just because I had to lock the door. So. I want to get to work on that. The carpet and everything, everything in here looks good. I still need to get the tailgate on. That's the only thing is I need to paint it and stuff and get it all ready. It actually looks so good in here. I considered trying to sleep in here last night. The only reason I didn't is because if I get bit by a mosquito, it swells up like this big. Like I've had to go to the hospital because we thought my insect bite was worse than an insect bite. Um, so not a fan of mosquitoes. They don't work with me. Wood paneling is coming together great. The only thing is um, some of the boards, the, the stuff, I need to put like some stuff on it so they'll hold down because the actual stickiness, it's not sticking. So I'm gonna have to put some insulation in there. But then the carpet and everything, the shifter boots are all in here. The rubber and everything, it's all padded down. The carpet actually came undone the other day. I'm going to have to put more um, of this, you know, stuff. Oh, wait. I actually got the power inverter in. This works great. The only thing is, is I'm trying to figure out if I really want to screw it down in here or if I want to trust so far you know it's been fine i just don't want it shaking around or whatever um these wires are irrelevant i need to tuck those in there so far the only problem i'm having with the power inverter is it if the vehicle isn't on it's only getting like 10 watts because of the battery the battery is only getting it or 10 amps i think 10 watts 10 amps i really don't know the difference anyway it starts beeping and says it's too low to run so the only time it can actually have it on is when i'm driving the vehicle which i assumed that but i was hoping it would still be able to function while the vehicle is off um, I thought about a dual battery setup, but it'd be a little pricey to hook that all that up. And then the other thing is just getting a better battery. I was looking at Optima Yellow Top, um, but I heard they kind of went downhill. Anyway, I'm trying to see if there's a better battery. Right now, I'm just running a Walmart battery. And another thing was trying to think if I should upgrade the alternator. I think it's just like 70 amp or maybe 90 amp. Um, I know that they sell, I think, a 120 amp, but I was hoping to get more than that. I've seen an upgrade where I think they take a Durango's alternator and somehow fit inside the jeep if anyone has any suggestions on something that's kind of bolt on something that wouldn't be too complicated to just put in and isn't going to break the bank you know a budget easy to put in upgrade to the alternator that would be great or any battery suggestions anything like that i'm trying to look into it i'm going to try to just run off this battery for now but as far as i know the cells are dying in it it's over two years old so and it's just from walmart so we'll see 
the battery might be going out, I might have to get a new battery, and I want to make sure it's going to work with my whole setup since it's going to be powering all my gear. <laughs> Of course, it still needs a lot of work, you know, getting everything put together and stuff, but it's coming along great. There's so much work done to it. This is actually something really funny I noticed yesterday. So I was driving around town yesterday before I put the doors and top all on, and usually when I'd get in the Jeep, you know, right here, I would just grab right here and fold myself up like this. And I did that twice yesterday, and then halfway through I realized I have these, so I can just grab these to get in. Oh, also this new shift knob, Great, and having the rubber boot really helps the transmission kind of not. There was, there used to be some play in the transmission because the shifter was just kind of wiggle a little bit, but the rubber really holds it in place, so there's not any play anymore. So it really feels like it sets in place really good. I really like that. The steering wheel's still crooked though, because uh, I haven't got that fixed yet. standstills because I mean the Jeep is not really in a position to be running or anything but having this drone gives a completely new aspect to the vlog and it's just phenomenal I mean I don't know I mean I'm just kind of playing with it I'm not doing anything too great but I mean look at this look at that thing it's phenomenal you just fly around and get all these cool shots I'm just doing this in my backyard but I still, I mean, if you saw, I, I thought they were pretty cool. All right, so I'm actually going to go right now. But before I go, the other day, actually, uh, my my Patreon supporter, Bruce Jividen, reached out to me and he told me that he actually works for Adobe. And he actually gave me Creative Cloud. So now I actually have access not only to Lightroom and Photoshop, but I actually have Premiere Pro, too. And, like, I don't even know how to use Premiere Pro. I'm over here. I opened it yesterday, and I was like, whoa, this is way too advanced for me. But having that tool is going to give me a whole new way to edit. I always wanted to try to use Premiere Pro, but it's kind of expensive. And the sun just came out and it's trying to blind us all. But now I have all this equipment. I can edit my pictures. And this works for everything. Like, I use Lightroom and Photoshop on my phone a lot. That is, like, it really meant a lot to me to actually give that to me. Like, I told my mom and she was like, are you kidding me? Little brat, I'm so jealous. Like, my mom was so jealous. Anyway, I just wanted to say that was really awesome of you. And thank you so much. Any support I can get really means a lot to me. So if any of you want to support this journey, I have a Patreon link down below. I cannot wait to get this tailgate on, start putting stuff in the Jeep. I really need help though, because right now I'm at a little bit of a stuck point. I know there's certain things I need, but if any of you have any suggestions, something that I might need, you know, any, you know, a specific battery or anything you think I might need, any recovery gear, you know, first aid, any suggestions that you might have for me to start this journey, I mean, just comment down below or message me on Instagram or whatever you know just tell me what what kind of stuff you guys take on these trips you know what kind of stuff will I probably need that I'm not thinking about right now and now it got dark there we go so yeah if there's anything you think I might need comment down below I'm just trying to figure out make sure I have everything I need so I don't get myself in a situation where I don't know what to do thank you for watching this video I will be back tomorrow with more updates I might go paint some stuff later tonight we'll see how that goes I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day